Now you probably clicked this video because you wanted to know how long it takes for you to completely max out your account without spending any money in Brawl Stars. And when you clicked on that video, the thought probably went through your mind, surely this has got to be clickbait, surely nobody in their right mind would spend hours and hours researching and calculating and figuring out how long it actually takes to max out your account and give you an actual number of days. Well, I'm not any regular person. I'm Kairos time. And that's exactly what I did. And my brain kind of hurts now. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon, it is time to brawl now before we jump into this video. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel and making it possible for me to make really time intensive videos like this one just so you guys could learn more about Brawl Stars. Now I especially wanted to give a massive shout out to Math Bandit for providing a huge amount of support by recently becoming a diamond tier sponsor on Patreon. I thought it was only pertinent that I give him his amazing shout out in this video where we're talking about being a free to play player and we're talking about Lots of math, and his name is Math Bandit, and he's spent money to support my channel. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. Okay, now let's actually talk about the main content for this video, but be warned, there's a lot of math involved, guys. Now, you don't need to follow along with all of the math if you really don't want to, but there is a lot of tips throughout the video regarding how to actually speed up progression, which you're not going to want to miss out. Then, of course, near the end, we're actually going to answer in days how long does it take for you to completely max out your account without spending a single dollar or pound or quid? You might need to look that one up. Okay, now let's go ahead and start actually talking about this. Before we can talk about how long it takes for you to max out your account, we need to know how many boxes it takes for you to max out your account. And for that, we need to look up the Brawl Stars wiki to figure out how much gold and how many power points that's going to take. Now from the wiki page, we learned that to max out your brawler from level 1 to level 9, you need a total of 3,090 coins and 1,410 power points. Because we currently have 21 brawlers in the game, we can find out the total amount of resources required to max out an account by multiplying those numbers by 12, and we get 29,610 power points and 64,890 gold. But we still need to figure out how much gold it requires for us to get to level 10, which means getting the brawler's star power. Now pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you because if you do not, you run the risk of missing out on a way that you can speed up your overall progression by 80 total days, which is crazy. Do I have your attention? Now typically the way for you to max out your brawler from level 9 to 10 is by purchasing their star power in the shop with 2,000 gold. But when you have at least one brawler at level 9, you have the option, well not the option, it's not your choice, you have the opportunity, maybe sometimes, if you get lucky, to get a free star power from a Brawl Box. And I like to view that one lucky drop as basically 2,000 gold from a single box because that's essentially what it is going to save you in the terms of progression. Now let's say you got all your brawlers to level 8, and then you get one brawler to level 9, and here you're like, ooh, I really want his star power because it's really, really cool. Well, from there, if you immediately purchase that star power, you no longer have any opportunities to get a free star power from a box. And that means you may be missing out on free 2,000 gold coin drops. But if you're smart about this and you follow exactly what I'm going to tell you, here's what you should do. You'll get one brawler to level 9, and before purchasing his star power, you'll get a second brawler to level 9. Then, you're like, ooh, I really wanted to buy this brawler's star power, I think I'm going to... Well, actually, I wanted to buy this Brawler's Star Power. Gotta be careful which finger you put down. So now that I have two, I will purchase this Brawler's Star Power, and you still have one Brawler at level 9, which means you still have that opportunity to get those free Star Power drops in those boxes. And that's right, guys, if you're gonna max out your account and you follow this method, instead of this method, I think you get the idea. You can actually speed up your total progression by about 80 days. Now, to calculate that, I actually had to figure out how frequently those star power drops actually happen. Now, the only time that I've tested this on the main live build was on my main account, and that was a while ago, but I have had the opportunity to test this out on the developer build, which 
I can't actually give those exact odds to you because they may be slightly different than the, the real build. But if my estimates are correct, which it seemed like those two were kind of fairly close, my actual live account and the developer build, I estimate that you can actually get half or more of your star powers from boxes than actually having to save up the gold for them. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and add the total amount of gold that you'll need to actually purchase those star powers to the total amount of gold required to max out your account. And with 21 brawlers, that comes from 42,000 additional gold down to 21,000 additional gold to max out your account. Now before we move forward, I do need to simplify something. This is going to be a little bit complicated right now, but it is going to be way less confusing with the math later on. Somewhere along the lines of your progression, you will get to a point where you have earned all of the power points in order for you to max out your account, but you will still not have enough gold to max out your account. From that point on, the power point drops, you actually still get power point drops in your boxes, but you don't see them because what happens is behind the scenes of the magic of Brawl Stars, those power points get converted into gold at two gold, Per PowerPoint. That's actually the same conversion rate for buying PowerPoints in the store with your gold. And that is why actually buying those PowerPoints in the store will not slow down your overall progression at all because eventually you'll just start earning that gold back sooner because you spent the gold initially to get those PowerPoints, so then you'll actually start earning that gold back. You, you get the idea. Now because of this, rather than keeping track of power points, gold and star powers required to max out your account for the two different phases of progression, which I'm not even gonna talk about those two phases. I covered that in another video and you don't need to know that for this video. But rather than keeping track of all of that for, I mean, that's just gonna give you guys a headache and that's, I tried it, it, it did give me a headache. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to be converting all of those power points, gold and star power gold into a single resource called Upgrade points. Upgrade points don't actually exist in the game, but we can use that as a way to make the math a lot easier for this video. And that is one gold for one upgrade point. One power point for two upgrade points. One star power for a thousand upgrade points. Because we're factoring in those lucky star power drops that you're gonna get because you follow the advice in this video. Now, we can finally add everything up into total upgrade points and figure out how much is required for you to completely max out your account. And with the 21 brawlers in the game, that comes up to a total of 145,110 upgrade points required to max out your account. Ooh, that math, let me tell you. It is nothing in comparison to what we're about to do. Now we know how many upgrade points are required for you to max out your account. Now we need to figure out how many boxes it's going to take for you to earn those upgrade points for you to max out your account. And for that, I referenced Lex's recent video where he opened up a ton of mega boxes because he's a dirty gemmer. I love that guy. Thank you so much for making that video, Lex. It made making this video so much easier. There is a link to that video in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Now, I went through and tracked out how much gold he got from each box, as well as how many power points he got from each box, and kept track of how many boxes he opened that actually resulted in him getting a brawler, because when you get a brawler from a mega box, it's kind of like one of those 10 boxes goes into a brawler so you have nine and then I also excluded one mega box that he didn't completely show all the power points and things like that. Now because one mega box is the equivalent of opening up 10 boxes we can treat this as if he opened up 272 boxes total and earned 4,146 power points and 6,177 gold. If we average those spoils out it comes down to 15.2 power points per box and 22.7 gold per box but since we are converting those power points and the gold into upgrade points that comes to a total average Average of 53.2 upgrade points per box. Now that we know that, we can take the total amount of upgrade points required and divide that by how many power points you get per box on average, and that comes down to a total of 2,728 boxes required for you to max out your account. And here's where things get a little tricky, guys. We know that it takes 2,728 boxes in order for you to max out your account, but it's not like you wait until you have all of those boxes, then you just open them all up and then your account is maxed out. No, along the way, you get those free tickets, you get those free gems, and you get those free key doublers that all somehow with one way or another end up converting back into more boxes. And in order for us to figure out how many free boxes you're going to get from all of those key doublers, tickets, and gems, we need to know what those drop rates are in all of those boxes. Now for that, I actually watched a video created by Ben Tim where he opened up 1,353 total boxes Thank you, Ben Tim, for doing that so that I did not have to do it. And for that, he got 433 tickets, 507 gems, 
9,600 key doublers. And there is a link to that video in the description as well, so make sure you guys go check that out. Now, if we divide those numbers by the amount of boxes that he opened up, we learn that you average 0.32 tickets per box, 0.37 gems per box, and 7.1 key doublers per box. Now that we know those drop rates, we need to figure out exactly the conversion rate for those bonus items back into boxes so we can figure out how many bonus boxes we're actually going to earn to max out your account. First up, our key doubler drops. Now these are the easiest to do the math for because 100 key doublers gives you 100 extra keys which helps you open up one free box. In other words, you get 0.01 boxes for every one key doubler that you get. Now I know that you don't just get one key doubler but that's gonna make the math so much easier for us later on, so that's what we're gonna use. Now, how tickets convert back into boxes depends on which game mode you do and how well you perform in that game mode, and for the sake of this video, I'm trying to calculate the fastest time in order for you to completely max out your account, and that means that you're going to be going into Robo Rumble and you are going to be earning 32 keys per ticket every single time. Now for gems, I'm gonna assume that you're not spending any of your gems on skins because we are going to be maxing out your account as quickly as possible for this video. And really, there are two efficient ways for you to spend those gems in order to get more boxes. Either you buy 1,000 key doublers with 50 gems or you buy 60 event tickets in Robo Rumble for 80 gems. Now some people watching this are going to min-max their account. They want it absolutely as fast as they possibly can and they are going to grind Robo Rumble hard and they're going to get 32 key keys per ticket every single time. And that's great. If that's not you, I really would not stress about it too much. You can actually just purchase those key doublers and the difference in total progression time is only gonna be about 11 days. But for this video, we are going for the fastest free to play time to max out your account. So I'm gonna be using the most efficient cost for your gems, which is 80 gems for 60 tickets at 32 keys per ticket. With those 60 tickets at 32 keys per ticket, it comes down to 19.2 boxes. Divide that by the 80 gems that it costs for you to get those boxes, and we get 0.24 boxes per gem. Okay, yeah, that, that part was pretty tricky, right? But guess what? It's about to get more tricky. Let's say you have 1,000 boxes to just open up. Based on those drop rates, after you open up those 1,000 boxes, you'll have about 7,095 key doublers, you'll have 320 tickets, and 375 gems. Now if we take those numbers and multiply them by how many boxes we earn per key doubler, or per ticket, or per gem, to figure out how many additional boxes we'll have for free on top of those 1,000 boxes we originally opened up. If we do that and add them all up together, we calculate 263 free boxes just for those bonus items. Well, that wasn't too bad, right? No, because now we have 263 free boxes that we're gonna open up, and they're gonna go ahead and give us more key doublers and more tickets and more gems. So we get to do the math again. Those 263 boxes turn into 69 nine more boxes, which turn into 18 more boxes, which turn into five more boxes, which turns into one more box, which turns into some spare gems, tickets, and or key doublers. Okay, now we have gone back six generations of opening boxes, and if we add all of those up, those 1,000 boxes we originally opened up actually multiplied into 1,357 total boxes that all had PowerPoints, that all had gold. Now in order for us to figure out how many boxes we originally need in order for us to reach those 2,728 total boxes required to max out your account, it's really just guesswork. You just you add boxes and you calculate it all out and then you have to go back and forth and and that takes a lot of time but i love you guys and i did it so you wouldn't have to and finally i landed on 2010 initial boxes which then turn into 529 which then turn into 139 which then turn into 37 which then turn into 10 which then turn into three and then those finally turn into one box Add all that together and we come up to the magical number of 2,728 boxes, the same number of boxes required for you to max out your account with 21 brawlers. I know, I know, you're clapping for me. It was some pretty good math. Okay, honestly, that was the hardest part of the math for this video, but now that I've done that, it's we still we still have something to do, okay? We know how many boxes we originally need in order for us to actually max out your account, and now we need to calculate how long it's going to take for us to get those boxes through free-to-play progression. Now, because we are going for the fastest time possible for a free-to-play player to max out their account, we are going to assume that you are never missing your free 100 keys every 12 hours. We're also going to assume that they are never missing 
seeing those free coins each day just by clicking on the game modes and we're also going to assume that you are actually earning your star key every single day from when you first finish the tutorial to maxing out your account. Now because we are going to be including the two week season rewards that you earn for this calculation, we're also going to calculate everything else into a two week period to keep things simple. Once we've done that, we can easily divide that by 14 to figure out an actual amount of days required to max out your account. Now every 12 hours, you earn 100 keys available to unlock. So that is two boxes per day for seven days, which is going to be 14 boxes per week or 28 boxes in two weeks. Now on five days of the week, you earn 40 free keys just for clicking on the new event. On the sixth day, you get 30 free keys by clicking on those events. And on the fourth event, you get two free tickets to actually go back into those event modes. And on the seventh day, you earn 30 free keys by clicking on the events and nothing for that fourth event because it's a two day event. If you add all of that together, you get 2.6 free boxes every week for free keys or 5.2 boxes for every two weeks. But on top of that, we have to actually add the keys that you would earn by spending those free tickets in the event going on that week. Now it's more efficient for you to actually spend those tickets in Robo Rumble than boss fight, but it is actually more worth it overall for you to spend one of those tickets to get your star key from boss fight every other weekend. So in a two week period, we're going to go ahead and assume 32 keys per ticket for three of those four free tickets that you would get in the two weeks by playing Robo Rumble. And we're gonna assume 20 keys per ticket for the one ticket that you'll spend every other week to get the star key in boss fight. If we add all that together, we're looking at 116 keys or 1.16 boxes in two weeks for those free tickets. Now on six days of the week, you can earn four star keys for winning a match in each event. And on the seventh day, you can earn three star keys. Every 10 star keys equals one big box, which is the equivalent of three regular boxes. In a week, you can earn 27 star keys. And if we divide that by 10 for a big box and multiply it by three for those regular boxes you'll get from those big boxes, we get 8.1 boxes a week from star keys or 16.2 boxes every two weeks. Now for season rewards that we do get for every two weeks, I decided to pick an average of 5,000 trophies for the time that it takes for a player to max out their account. I wanted to pick a number that was somewhat reasonable for most free to play players to reach within the first few months of playing. And the types of people that are gonna be this active in Brawl Stars are probably going to be those kinds of people that are actually pretty decent at the game. So I don't think that 5,000 trophies is too high. At 5,000 trophies, the reward is 300 keys or three free boxes every two weeks. Depending on your average trophy count, while you are progressing, this number might be higher or it might even be lower. Now, if we add all that up, a highly active free-to-play player who is doing everything right should earn 53.6 boxes every two week season. Now by dividing that by 14 days, we come down to an average of 3.8 boxes per day. <sighs> okay. Now we know how many boxes a dedicated and skilled player will be able to earn every day. And we have really good estimate as to how many boxes that it is going to require for us to max out on account. But there are two more things we have to add to the equation. Why? Why does this have to be so hard? The first is rank up bonuses from pushing each brawler up to 500 trophies. Now if a player is dedicated enough to maximize progression every single day until their account is maxed, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they're actually dedicated enough to push all their brawlers to 500 or higher. That's 10 free keys for every rank up bonus to 500 trophies or 20 ranks total. With the current 21 brawlers in the game, that comes out to 42 free boxes just for pushing up your account. The second thing we need to look at is the level up bonus on your actual player account. Now, I don't know the best way to average this because it's probably different for certain people. So I went ahead and selected my player level when I maxed out all my brawlers to 500 and that is 120. At 20 keys for every 120 level that you get, that comes to a total of 24 free boxes just for playing your account. Add those two things together and that is 66 free boxes that we can subtract from the initial 2010 boxes required for us to push up your account. And that comes down to 1,944 boxes that need to be earned by actively playing the game. <sighs> wow, this, this has been a crazy video. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I started working on this. Tons of maths. Tons of tips to max out your account as fast as possible, but it is time to calculate how long it takes for a free-to-play player to max out their account 
without spending any money in the game. By dividing the 1,944 estimated boxes that you will need to earn by the 3.8 average possible boxes that you can earn per day, we learn that it takes 508 days to completely max out your Brawl Stars account from start to finish. That is 73 weeks, or 17 months, or 1.4 years, or 0.14 decades. You get the idea. Okay guys, that's actually really cool. A year and a half is nothing in comparison to the other Super Steel games. Thank you, Brawl Stars devs. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's cover some interesting facts, okay? Every star power that you unlock from a box actually saves you 10 or more days worth of progression. And then, of course, every brawler that Supercell adds to the game will add 27 to 37 days to your total progression, depending on whether you get the star power from a box or if you actually have to save up the gold. Some other things that are really important to consider for this video. If you do not get 32 keys per ticket, it will take longer for you to reach your max out account, but it shouldn't take that much longer, so I wouldn't stress about it too much. Additionally, you have to be active every 12 hours in order for you to make this happen, and that's every day for a year and a half. If you are a free-to-play player, assuming Supercell adds more brawlers in the game, it will take longer for you to max out your account. Additionally, guys, this actually may go faster or slower depending on how far or how quickly you actually climb up the ladder due to more league rewards. Also, this video does take into consideration getting half of your star powers from lucky box drops because you follow the tips that I gave you in the middle of the video. Also, it may actually be a little bit faster depending on how high you push because I did not incorporate the free rewards that you get just by reaching new milestones up in the ladder. Either way guys, this is by far the most accurate calculation to date with the number of brawlers currently in the game on how long it takes for a free to play player to max out your account in Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I am also working on another video where I calculate how much it costs for you to completely max out your account in Brawl Stars and I'm going to be calculating two different numbers. First off, I'm going to be calculating the cost for you, those big spenders who are willing to go from zero to max like that. And then I'm also going to be calculating the cost for those players who want to max out their account quickly, but who also are willing to uh, be a little bit patient so they don't have to spend the big bucks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss that awesome Brawl Stars video or any other Brawl Stars videos on my channel. Thanks so much for watching this. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.